Well, hello there, people in the view of Earth. Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, is a Sunday, and I'm rather sort of relaxed, as you can tell, on the inside of my fucking onesie, people. Now, yeah, I put up a poll recently about, you know, if you've recently unsubscribed from my channel, could you let me know why? And I asked for a little bit of feedback. I just want to go over some of the feedback that I got, and I'm just going to be addressing that and talking a little bit about why I do what I do in No Man's Sky and inside the community, where my passions lie, what I enjoy doing, and why I go about doing it so yeah i just thought i would i just give some feedback on the feedback yeah so we'll get into that in a moment people so here we go i'm, I'm just going to jump on over i'll bring up my little reaction cam and we'll go from there people in the view of us okay so here we are we're over on my poll that i mentioned earlier so this is it here i wonder if i can make that any bigger for you guys in the view of us there we go. I think that's probably big enough for you. So you can see there, I put my review of Waypoint was too critical. I mean, I watched them both back. I watched both of them back, and I don't think I was overly too critical. I just think I was very truthful in the way that I was laying it out. And when you look at the comments on those videos, I think the overwhelming, and also the likes versus dislike ratio as well, it's... It seems to be in my favour, to be honest, so I honestly don't think it's overly too critical, but sorry if you did find it overly too critical. Okay, so the adventure playlist doesn't interest me much, only 7%, which is good to know. I might continue doing some of the adventure playlist and maybe do the outlaws and maybe even the uh, metal sort of side quests, if you like, and maybe even the, um, the Tales of the Deep or whatever it is, the uh, Dreams of the Deep or whatever. I've already done that once. I've already done it once, so I don't really remember it. I wouldn't mind revisiting the lore on that one. Tales of the Deep, I think it was. That's it. I no longer play F No Man's Sky. 31%. That's a heck of a lot. That is a lot, isn't it? Okay, YouTube unsub me. I will resub. 31%. That's the highest. So thank you very much, people. If you did jump back in, well, actually, it's, it's tied with I no longer play No Man's Sky. Well, I'm hoping that those that don't no longer play No Man's Sky see an update in the future and say, you know what, I'm going to jump back in. I'm going to give it another whirl. Because, yeah, it's, um, it's an interesting one. As we go through the comments, you're going to see why people have stopped playing No Man's Sky. And some of it is due to the latest update of Waypoint in the actual feedback. So was my review too critical? maybe it still stands i don't know i mean it's hard to say isn't it you know there's people that would love no man's sky no matter what hello games does to it me being one of those people to be fair i just feel that what waypoint done in a roundabout way was removed some elements of play but i'm not going to go into it too much because you can see that in my actual reviews anyway if you haven't seen those two reviews there's one when waypoint first released and then there's one a little bit later after patch version 4.05 came out and yeah i do reviews of both and there is an increase in the percentage after the patches go in so yeah be sure to check those on as out okay so yeah youtube unsubbed me now if you don't know this people youtube tends to go in maybe once every quarter or every season and uh you know removes a load of people that haven't been watching your content regularly so i you know i do daily videos so it's probably to my detriment so if somebody doesn't watch my videos for a good couple of weeks and then watches maybe one and then a couple of weeks later they maybe watch another and i'm doing daily content perhaps that's why youtube unsubs people because they're just not watching it regularly enough but who can keep up with channels as busy as mine you know so yeah i'm i'm i've got the same thing happen to me i'm I, rage gaming i am i i i, I I'm subscribed to Rage Gaming. I love all their Monster Hunter stuff. I still watch their Monster Hunter videos now, even though I'm not subscribed to them. Uh, well, I am subscribed to them, I should say, but I, I don't play Monster Hunter anymore. But I watch maybe one in five of their Monster Hunter videos, and then I watch maybe one in five of their Elden Ring videos. You know, So I'm not watching all of their content, but they do daily content all the time. And I keep getting unsubscribed from them automatically by YouTube. That's what I mean by I'm not subscribed. And I have to keep hitting that subscribe button. I have to check maybe, I don't know, every time I, I see a video on the feed, it's usually on the recommended list. I'm like, well, why didn't that pop up to notify me that was there i click it and i see i'm unsubscribed i have to resubscribe again happens so often but it seems to be the busier channels that i get unsubscribed from so just just check that okay every now and again you know if you like the old captain steve video and you haven't seen one pop up for a while oh, what's happened to him just check <laughs> cool all right just a tad fed up with youtube and no man's content creators in general 13 percent. okay so it's slightly higher than my um you know I, i'm not interested in your story thing but that's a bit of a shame. It's a bit of a shame, but they're, 
Doing content creation for No Man's Sky is like being on a roller coaster. Every time there's an update, your, your views go right through the roof. It's like freaking awesome. And then after there's an update, it tails off. And you're going to see some content creators like, say, Craze Gaming or um, Hawks Gaming, that every time there's an update, they release a couple of videos for No Man's Sky, and then it drops down, and then their videos disappear, and they, they cover other games, which is a clever thing to do. Not all content creators do that. They try to stick with No Man's Sky the whole way through. I try to have a side game on par with No Man's Sky, like Dragon's Dogma, Elden Ring. I've done those in tandem with No Man's Sky, drawing dry spells for No Man's Sky. But I haven't got enough one of those games right now that I want to play. Dragon's Dogma 2 is on the horizon. It's due to come soon. And there's also another game that I want to play called Nightingale, which is on the horizon. Hopefully going to come soon. I am toying maybe doing the Harry Potter game, but I want to see reviews first of that. Because um, I've, got, I've got a few concerns about the Harry Potter game. I might have to hit up a video on why I've got concerns about the Harry Potter game. Because they could be, they could be null and void. Yeah, we, we, we don't know till we see the, full, the uh, full product. There's also another game that I'm looking forward to called Ark Raiders. It keeps getting delayed though, but that's a free-to-play um, online-y type game. It looks freaking great. Sweet. I've got a lot of support in the comments, people, I must say. So yeah, a lot of people saying I'm never going to unsubscribe from you. But you can see here, look, that chap, he says, but Waypoint Update killed it for him, you know? So, you know, my reviews that were quite critical, it, it still sort of rings out that there is still that divide there. People have left No Man's Sky because of the Waypoint update. But this happens from all games. You know, it's like Elite Dangerous. They, they had a bit of lull in players. But now that they're bringing back this alien race, the Far Gods or whatever they are, it seems to be peaking back up again. So, you know, it, it, let's just hope that the next update brings back some of the people that feel that Waypoint did kill it for them. Now, my review of Waypoint, I did allow the community to sway my opinion quite a lot because I was getting inundated with comments like this and from many others echoing the same sentiments. And you only have to jump over to Steam on PC. Now, a lot of these Steam people probably aren't even subscribers of mine. But when you look at the actual reviews there, when Waypoint landed, they're all echoing this same sentiment. There was an equal number of positive and negative reviews. So that's why I called it the most divisive and I actually gave reference to the actual Steam reviews in those actual um, reviews. So although I'm trying to defend myself quite a lot about those reviews, I feel that it was a fair reflection of the community and the feelings at the time that Waypoint landed. So yeah, I'm hoping a lot of people are feeling a lot better about Waypoint now. I know myself, I am. It's like when I had to rebuild my freighter the other day. I just chucked it into... You, you can go down to the main console and reset your base. You're not going to get any of your base parts back it in creative mode does that matter you know you're in creative you can then just make the base however you want put it back into normal mode after you're done brilliant not a problem cool checked still subscribed nice one well thank you very much there tribal talker yes so yeah they did do well in kinking out a lot of the um issues and things like that your channel is great people unsubscribing is locally due to no man's cry rather than your channel content i honestly think that's the case i honestly think that's the case and i think you've hit the nail on the head um, so yeah, I'm, I might be overly worried about what the community think in a roundabout way in what I actually put out there. I like to think that what I'm putting out there is my honest opinion. I, I wouldn't say that I, I'm a fan of No Man's Sky. Am I a fanboy? No, I, I kind of, I'm not going to sing its praises when I'm, I've got, I've got concerns. I'm going to list and put out those concerns. If I find bugs, I'm not going to say this is a new feature. I'm going to say this is a freaking bug. This can't be by design. I'm going to point it out. And I know that some people see that that's negative rather than being positive. I always try to put a funny positive spin on things. I try to dress it up and have a bit of a laugh at it because sometimes these bugs are super freaking funny. And you know what? I don't mind them being there for a little while because they bring a little bit of entertainment into the actual game. So, you know, you know I, I, I'm on the, I'm very much on the fence with it. But like I say, I try to be positive with it. I really do. Still subscribed. Thank you very much. Nice one. Nice. Yeah. What have we got here, actually? A huge problem that still plagues No Man's Sky is that it's still heavily reliant on... What does he say next? It's still heavily reliant on the updates. There's not enough of substantial improvement when it comes to exploration and the overall gameplay loop. They still haven't add, added in quite a few of the promised features. Factions, creatures, animations, AI, removing of the, the skybox. And the game still is very, very too static for an open universe. 
I kind of feel that yeah, that you are hitting a couple of nails on the head there. You really are. That's that's a really juicy comment. That one. There's a lot to be debated on there, and you could to and fro from that, can't you? It's like the um, you know the super formula that was mentioned even way back during the making of No Man's Sky. I've got a whole playlist on the making of No Man's Sky where they talk about the super formula, like it's going to be in game at launch. We all know it got removed for a reason, so it does make you wonder, doesn't it, whether what we got now is kind of because they went down the biomes route, which they said they were never going to do. Again, inside of that playlist, well worth hitting up because, you know, people that know this history, which I'd imagine Plob does, as well as myself and things like that, hit it up. Take a look. It's um, it's well worth looking. Still subscribed. Noticed you a while back from the HM documentary after I was talking with the director. We shared similar experience as well for the love of um, No Man's Sky. Well, brilliant. Awesome to have you along. Heck yes. Cool, yeah. I like your videos for the British accent and phrases, honestly. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, Ryan Orion. That's a cool name. I love your freaking thumbnail of the little jaunty wizard. Very cool. Yeah. Ever Demon. Haven't unsubbed, but like many others, Waypoint killed the Golden Goose. There we go. Again. It's there, it's there again. But yeah, I've watched a few of your other videos because I like your personality. Well, thank you very much, If a Demon. I am trying to do more vlogs and show more of the world that I like to live in. And and also the sort of, you know, the urban legends, myths and, and magic and all that sort of shenanigans. Love that sort of stuff. The paranormal, the occult, all that sort of stuff. Hopefully bringing more of that to my channel in future as well, as long as alongside doing gaming. You know, I've got Captain Steve Gaming or Captain Steve Plays. I've I've got Captain Steve Talks, which is about all that sort of stuff, and Captain Steve Vlogs, which are my real life stuff. So yeah, I really wish that YouTube would add in the ability to subscribe to playlists. So if, you, if you're not enjoying No Man's Sky and you want to drop the No Man's Sky stuff from my channel for a bit, you can just unsubscribe from the No Man's Sky playlists. I really wish there was playlist subscribe functions and notification functions just on playlists rather than full channels. You know, so you could filter out the stuff that you're not so interested in for a while. And then when you are interested again, switch it back on. No longer play No Man's Sky. Got too convolu con convoluted and repetitive at the same time. But still you'll enjoy your content. Won't unsubscribe. Keep it up. Well, thank you, DD. Thank you very much. And we've got Luke uh, Stevenson here. Don't play No Man's Sky anymore after the waypoint. Again, another one. And... Uh, uh, uh. Was so frustrating losing all the extra tech spaces I worked so hard to get. But I don't think I'll unsubscribe from you. Love your energy and content. Keep up the good work, Captain Steve. Well, thank you there, Luke Stevenson. Well, I would say that now that they've added in those boosted slots and some of the sentinelized technologies that you can add in alongside your modules, I know, granted, it might only boost your freaking bolt caster at the moment in your multi-tool, but the ones that you get for your exosuit are pretty darn freaking nice. And I have found a couple of S-Class modules now with travellers on planets that seem to be better than the shop-bought S-Class modules. I would suggest maybe taking a look at the boosted slots, moving around your technology, Luke, firing it up and having a quick little play. I know that you're probably not going to be as awesome as you once was, but yeah. And look at that, it's even got four likes on there, people. One of those likes is me, so say three. But even still, there's other people that are echoing his sentiment about Waypoint, people. Some people might not want to put a comment out there into the verse saying that they're disappointed because of the backlash that you can get from the rest of the community when you point out the negatives with inside of an update. So yeah, it's, it's a bit of an oddity. Okay, I'm not going anywhere any time um, soon. I've been subscribed when you only had a little over a thousand people. I think that must have been make me a wingman. Kev B1, freaking heck yes. You are awesome. And I've, my regulars, thank you so much for sticking with the channel. Through the highs and lows and this roller coaster that is No Man's Sky, thank you very much for all of your support. It does mean the freaking world. And I'm not just saying that, I actually freaking mean it. Yeah, it's from the bottom of my heart. Somewhere around here. It's not beating. Fudge, my life. Yes, it is. Cool, awesome. We're good. Grindor, none of the above, Captain. Stay strong. Amazing content creator. Six likes. Well, five, because one of those is me. So thank you very much. Yeah, cool. Henry Rice, Captain, you need an option for still subbed so we could see the results too. Yeah, I suppose. You see, when people unsubscribe, okay, for a little while, they will still see community tab posts. When I say a little while, you know, me and my missus, when we're watching on our um, smart TV, we just use my YouTube channel and she keeps subscribing to channels that I've got no interest in, you know, like cookery, Filipini, Filipino type channels and things. Some that are even into Galog, which I don't understand. And when I kind of see them swamping my feed, I go in and I unsubscribe from them. But why she's there and say, look, hit this one up on your phone if you want to keep it. 
add it if you don't want to keep it don't and we go through like and do a house cleaning episode but even after i've done the house cleaning episode maybe a couple of weeks to even a month later if they put anything on their community post like this like polls and things is they still show up so it's a good way to get feedback if you've noticed a slump in your channel people that are content creators that are watching now it's quite a good little tip just put on do something like this poll like i'm doing here it's a great way to get feedback as to why people might be turning off from your channel yep Okay, cool. There we go. Still subscribed and belled, but you made me go check. <laughs> I was going to have some words for YouTube otherwise. Keep up the very enjoyable content. Well, thank you very much, there, Natasha. Dippy Fish, I can hear the tumbleweeds. <laughs> well, it, it happens from time to time, doesn't it? Especially like I mentioned with you know, No Man's Sky update, loads of views. No update, not so many views. And even so, even when there is an update sometimes, like the expedition ones, there's some people that don't want to ruin it for themselves. They want to play it through themselves. And then they'll come and watch your content and think, oh, I didn't do it that way. Maybe I'd have another go. Because usually on the expeditions, people hammer them, get them done, and they want to go do them again, see if they can better their time or whatever. It'd be nice to actually, yeah. Yeah, on your game save, you can see it there. Sky Masters Media. If you haven't come across this guy inside of the verse yet, he's an interesting content creator. He does a lot of modded PC stuff, but he's very... He's not going to mince with his words. He's not going to mince his words. What you get with him is freaking very black and white. Very, very few shades of grey. However, saying that, I kind of sit in his grey shades of grey area because he seems to like me, <laughs> which, which is kind of handy. Because, yeah, um, if you're on the wrong side of this chap, you're definitely on the wrong side of this chap. So, yeah, anyway, Sky Masters, if you're watching, salute them on, though. <laughs> but, yeah, I do like your modded stuff. And to see what you managed to squeeze out of No Man's sky is insane he's built these massive cities and there's npcs walking around everywhere it, it, people saying cities aren't possible in no man's sky they freaking are go watch his channel for a while and you'll see what i mean but we're looking at high-end pcs you know we're not looking at the likes of consoles and sky masters does point out that it could be the consoles that are holding back some of the potential very interesting individual there very interesting individual and um i i watch his i watch his videos but um yeah and i hit a like but i very rarely put a comment on because i think he's he's upset a lot of the community and i don't want to be seen over there but i he, he is like uh, he is somebody that i watch <laughs> so there we go okay andrew b still subscribe Oh, Captain, my Captain. Well, thank you there, Andrew B. Okay, John Miller. This is one of the interesting ones. This is a really interesting one. I admit, I unsubscribed, not only because of the bad reviews, but you continue to go on about all the negatives. I enjoyed your content for your joy and happiness in general. Watching you seem to give up and then amplify and continue to go on and did not help. At the point that No Man's Sky appears to be dying for a lack of new content, the interesting things done in the last update are pointless without further development. If nothing new I can take all the time, I want other games to come back. I am afraid that the time is approaching when No Man's Sky is left and is marked completed. Okay. At that point, yet another space game I love will effectively die as No Man's Sky joins the ranks of Elite Dangerous and basically a Discord on consoles. Mm, very interesting because there are there is a massive part of me that thinks that one day you know hello games they've got another ip underway they've already announced that they've already said that they've got another game that they're working on is it going to be another space game we don't know but what can be more ambitious than a giant freaking space game so yeah anyway i replied to this one i but i felt the negatives needed to be said i had so many voiced in my comments like i was saying earlier so it was an echo of the community Feeling better about it now, but couldn't pretend to be happy. That's just not me. I'm not going to do that. You know, if I've got concerns, genuine concerns, because I'm so passionate about this game reaching its full potential. And for me, Waypoint felt like it either took a mini step back or it stagnated slightly. And uh, right at the time, it, it really didn't need to, because it was just coming out to a new console. There needed to be some more excitement for it. You know, anybody that had been watching No Man's Sky content that also had a Switch would see that it was just going to drop on Switch as is. There was nothing new there for them to get their teeth into. And they could have been watching it on YouTube for some time and seeing that, you know, I just feel that they missed a little opportunity. It just, there was no wind in the sails with, um, you know, Waypoint. But I put, I hope you come back. Feeling more positive now, still coming across new bugs, but trying to show them in a fun way. Which, yes, if you've seen my recent video of me falling through the Nexus, that's, that's, that's a genuine sort of one, isn't it, you know? But there we go. Anyway, John Miller came back. He said, it's a fair request. And I think uh, you've put in enough work. 
and to earn a shot. So welcome back, John Miller. And I've seen you put other comments on some of my other videos. So thank you very much for being acceptive of, of my feelings on Waypoint. I mean, if you watch some of my recent videos, like where I rebuild my freighter base, even the whole God Mode thing, I'm liking that now. I actually see that as a plus. If I was to re-review Waypoint now, after having it for some time and letting it sink in and actually seeing where the direction is. And also, I played through Relax Mode. When I was playing through Relax Mode and I came to the point where I wanted to get all the base parts, and there was freaking swathes of them. I was like, you know what, this this is insane. There's just no way. I mean, because we've been giving base parts through play in No Man's Sky over years and years, I just forgot how much salvage data we actually needed to unlock all those parts. It's in having the god mode is a freaking godsend. It really is. Okay, cool. Jordy says, I didn't unsubscribe, but admittedly stopped watching your videos lately, mostly because you're advocating for the worst part of the community that drove headfirst into negativity in Hyperbole. I understand why you did it, but it also led to a miserable content from some No Man's Sky creators. Jordy, I kind of, well, I do and I don't agree with that statement, because although, the, yes, I did sort of say Waypoint for me is the most divisive update, there was stats and data to back that up. It wasn't just me saying that. There was a massive discord going on within inside of even the Steam reviews. Jump on over there. But, you know, people are more likely to post their negative reviews than positive reviews because people like to sound off when they're not happy with something, more so than when they are happy. So maybe that's not a true reflection. But even still, it was a giant wave of the community. When I say devices like 50-50, it probably wasn't because of that reason. It was probably more like, you know, a, a 90 10%. But the 10% are always going to be heard more. You know, it's like even when I'm reading through these comments, I'm stopping more so on the ones that are negative. Like yours. <laughs> so, you know, negative comments stand out more than the positives. And you feel that you have to address the negatives more than the positives. And I kind of feel that Hello Games did that anyway. It's like there was a, quite a few content creators that put out there that they weren't too happy with the star system. So uh, in the experimental branch on PC, they were going to put little yellow stars on all the players that hadn't that had changed their game settings or something. It was something as a negative connotation on the player base from Hello Games, and they were going to put a yellow star on us. And um, people said, you know, you might want to rethink that. The little yellow star probably... Try linking that to history. <laughs> when have they used yellow stars to show negative players in the past? You know, and they changed it to a padlock. They've changed it to a padlock now, and they've changed it so it shows you when you have locked your setting rather than when you have changed your setting. So they turned it from a negative to a positive. So this whole talk of negative versus positives, some of the negative feedback that we gave to Hello Games, something positive came out of that feedback that we gave to Hello Games, okay? So I, I don't think you should be sort of pointing the finger at um, content creators and saying, oh, you're negative, you're ne ne negative Nellies, you, you negative Nellies. Because if we weren't negative Nellies, then po something positive wouldn't have come out the other end. But you're you're very quick to applaud Hello Games when actually, in actuality, it was probably because the content creators sounding off saying, you know, this is a bad idea. You don't want to do this, Hello Games. And they put something positive out. I dread to think what the feedback would have been like if if people were running around with yellow stars on them inside of the Nexus and people were like, look at that guy, he's changed his settings, he's a little cheat bag. Yes, he's a, he's a, he's not a decent player. Yeah, I wonder what the Kon Kontaku reviews would have been of that one, you know? Especially since stars on players that have done something negative have got a bit of a strange connotation. So think of it that way, it could have destroyed the game. It could have destroyed the community if people inside the community weren't heard and, and stepped up. I mean, I've got a voice. I'm lucky enough to have a voice and a platform with inside of this community, and so have the other larger content creators, and we all said the same stuff. And then it got changed for the positive. <laughs> okay, all right, cool you. Anyhow, I can't remember if I've subscribed before and YouTube unsubscribed me or if I just never subscribed in the first place. Either way, I'm subscribed now. I replied to that one. I just put thank you, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yes, thank you, Dallin Powell. Thanking you. Okay, so we've got Michael Gorman here. So this is another one of those ones that um, is very much on the fence for me. I was like, what the? Seriously? Okay, so here we go. I unscribed a while back, overall just too negative and too many ideas of what you would like to see rather than what has been done. I do understand why you do it, but also it promotes disappointment. Okay. We have no idea if some ideas are in 
any way feasible and overshadows what Hello Games have achieved, especially when the vast majority won't happen. Okay, all right, fine. Thanks, folks. And get, then folks get disappointed and overlook simple facts like everything is three. Once the game is purchased six years on and the fact No Man's Sky looks and runs better than ever. Okay, I don't know whether you put a cape on inside the Nexus and tried running around and just checking your frame rate, but there we are. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to come across as being negative, but it, it, it's obviously, obviously it looks better when it comes to graphics and the finite detail and the, you know, the, the foliage and stuff. But then when you look at popping sometimes and the fact that when you try to land your ship, it won't land because it says there's something in the way. And then when you're running around on the Nexus and you're losing frame rates and then the screen starts to judder all over the place. Trust me, there's room for freaking improvement. Okay, and uh, this whole thing about you know putting across ideas. All right, here you go. This is the Zen Desk, and on the drop down you've got feedbacks, ideas, and suggestions. Guess what Hello Games wants on on here? They want feedback, ideas, and suggestions. Right now I make videos. That's what I do. I'm a video content creator, so I make a video on the ideas and say this is how it could work. Check out the comments because other people in the comments are going to be putting their ideas as well in the viewerverse and I send the video over to Hello Games so they can check out my video, my ideas, but then they can also check the video's comments for the community's ideas. Yeah? So I think I'm doing a massive service because I'm playing into what Hello Games is actually asking for from their Zendesk. Feedback, ideas, suggestions. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much that. And when you say um, we don't know whether the ideas are actually possible, I done this as like a mock-up, No Man's Sky Odyssey, okay? So this was way before version 4.0. This was around version 3 point something or whatever. Anyway, so in here, I mentioned about maybe having more buildings on planet surfaces. I know that we've now got like giant archives. I can't remember whether I put this out there before the giant archives or not, but now we have giant archives on planet surfaces and we might get more buildings and things like that. But this was definitely before settlements when I put this here as well. So when you scroll down, we've got a little bit mini cities is what I put in here. This is before we had settlements and now we can actually create our own settlements, which are like mini cities. Okay, I did say about NPCs offering Quicksilver missions and more challenging missions. We have had more missions added inside of the station's agent now. Um, but yeah, here, look at this. I put Sentinel structures now make an appearance, allowing you to raid them and shut down Sentinel activity on planets in a system for a period of time. Okay, is that in game now? Yes, yes it is. Yeah, yeah. We've got Sentinel pillars, mate. That's what we've got. So when you say <laughs> ideas that you put out there might not make it in, well, yeah, okay, fine. Megafauna and Apex Predators. What do we got in space now, people? Megafauna, yes. I mean, this. I put this together after the Child of Hel Helios, obviously. But now we've got giant freaking space leviathan frigates, which are, in Hello Games' terms, Megafauna. Yeah, maybe we might get more who knows but there we go yeah i put down apex predators as well i still would like to see the rhinos that can smash down trees and actual predators on planets that you're actually scared of and run from rather than choose to fight you know we haven't got that right now so yeah so i, I we've got part of this we've got part of this not the full thing but we have now got megafauna which are our living frigates so that's another thing that's there can i actually say that yes they took my idea completely no no they didn't no they didn't take my idea completely but they've done a spin-off idea on it they can see that it was well liked i mean this has got like over 140 odd upvotes or something which is good for me. I don't usually get a lot of upvotes, to be fair, over on Reddit. I don't think I use it enough. Entering into the void. Now, this isn't something that we've had yet. We can't enter into the void as yet. Um, but it seems to be something that they keep hitting up inside the lore and keep mentioning the realm of glass or the void, one or the other. Hopefully, we might be able to enter into there at some point. But yeah, I feel that this one's kind of... It's me just building on the lore. It, it's not really... It, it's kind of an idea, kind of isn't. Ship customization, where I mentioned about scrapping and being able to make blueprints for your ship and stuff. I've done a whole video on this. Do I think it's ever going to come into game? I really don't know. I know that it's something that's been asked for by the community massively, and Hello Games 
always listens to their community. I'm really hoping that something comes about when it comes to ship customization and also on ship perks and ship missions. It'd be nice to see more of that happening. I mean, yes, the boosted slots give us a little bit of that and they rebalance the ships to almost make it feel like the ships have more perks to them depending on their class of ships. So, you know, you know fighters are going to turn a lot faster than haulers and they've kind of upped the numbers. But it feels like they've upped the numbers, but I'm not seeing much change in the actual performance of ships. They, they still feel very samey to they were before the waypoint update so maybe there's some more rebalancing that needs to be done there but i'd love to some, see some of this perk stuff come in at some point but none of it's coming in as yet so yes maybe some ideas are not feasible maybe some ideas are not going to make it to the table but the sentinel pillars one freaking did and as you scroll down in here there is a mention here of sentinel types so this is before we had all the new sentinel types added in so they have added in new sentinel types now people so you've got the healers you've got the spawners you've got the regular drones we didn't have those and we didn't even have the um the minotaur sentinel either they've added those in too so oh i put in more sentinel types they've added in more sentinel types i didn't say what sentinel types i wanted to see they've added in the ones they wanted to see am i responsible for it probably not it's probably something they already had on the cards anyway but did i guess the future yes without a crystal ball so I, I'm not, I don't want to be banging my drum, but I'm just trying to say that if you put ideas out there, Hello Games might pick them up. They might not do them identically to how you've actually written them, but because they're always listening and they want the community to be happy, they tried to do something along that vein. I also put in here, living in the outer edge is possible, far more of a challenge. Assisting in the battle can award you with ownership of a sentinel drone, like lay laps with inside the law. And that's why I put it there, because I thought that it was possible and feasible. Guess what happened? We can now own our own sentinel drone. Is it down to this? It might be. Now, you see, I do talk to some people inside of Hello Games every now and again. They do reply to me for a little while and I, I have had a little bit of discord back and forth. And they said the best way to get an idea over to Hello Games is to put some real effort into your ideas, do mock-ups or whatever, and put them on Reddit. And if it gets upvoted and there's a lot of positive community feedback on there, then there's more likelihood of it being picked up than just sending it over on a Zendesk as a video. They said still send it over as, on, on the Zendesk as a video, but if you can really put some effort in and we can see that the community really want it, it does help to put it on the official No Man's Sky, the game, Reddit site. So that's exactly why I made this mock-up. I put it on there just to see how the community felt about it. And you know what? I would like to hope that some of this got picked up by Hello Games because I did actually have feedback inside a personal message to say that's the best way to get recognised. So there we go. And I also put no set biomes, but for that to happen, you know... The whole thing with the super formula needs to happen. That's just one of the mock-ups I did. I did another one called No Man's Sky Pillars over on Reddit too. And when you scroll through this, you can see that there's a few things on here that have been hit and miss yet again. I mean, I've put in about station ownership here and what I'd love to see happen with station ownership. It would be so cool if some of this makes it in to station ownership. I really don't know what station ownership is going to be bring in or what it means. But at the same time, I quite like some of the ideas that I put into it. What was there first? This was about freighter interactions and battles. So I was thinking, after you've got your freighter, it can be a little bit of a pain having these freighter encounters because it's very hard to get out of them and pulsing away from them is a bit of a pain too. So I think of maybe having a conflict scanner and if you jumped into high conflict zones, then you're more likely to get one, that sort of thing. So if you don't want that, just stay clear of all the sort of high conflict zones, you know? To trade, I really wanted to see trade sort of boosted as well. You know, depending on your relationship with certain races and things, I like to see that happen more. Now, I called this pillars because there are four pillars to No Man's Sky. You know, the whole explore, trade, survive, and, um, you know, that sort of stuff. So that's why I'm putting in the pillars, and this is where we're hitting on the pillars. So we've got trade first, and that's what I would like to see happen with trade to get that enhanced and improved a bit. Exploration. Again, I'm hitting that bang, banging the drum of, you know, apex predators. I would love to land on a planet where you actually feel a sense of danger. And not only just from ground creatures, you're looking up to see if there's anything going to come at you from the sky. Or if you dive into the oceans, you're actually a little bit nervous about doing so, just in case you get ripped to limb by some sort of giant space shark or something, you know? But yeah, there's all sorts of going on there, but it's mainly to do with that. But also a few new weapon tech modules like the incinerator and other things like bounce 
bouncing and sticky grenades and a tag and shoot homing bolt caster so you know you lock onto something with a red dot and then even if you turn the opposite way and fire your bullets track round like freaking drudge dread you know that'd be pretty cool and hit your target but new biomes tar droid techno sentinel weld ocean dune jungle and relic and i was hoping that each of them could have maybe their own apex type predators that are going to be thrown in amongst those it's like at the moment the droid planets only have two droids on there it'd be awesome to have more droid fauna including a mega droid fauna that'd be freaking epic uh, gosh it would but like you know, imagine something like a ryzen zero dawn or whatever those sort of droidy type things fight again ties into Quite a lot of what I mentioned before, but you know, Sentinel Strongholds, again, this is before we got the Sentinel Pillars. My idea of the Sentinel Stronghold, though, would be more like, you know, the procedural dungeons that are the desolation, abandoned freighters, a little bit more like that, you know, randomly generated inside, and uh, it with a boss fight in there or something, or some sort of mega Sentinel at the end that you have to take out to shut it down. But yes, pirate encampments as well is something that I mentioned here. This was before Outlaws, and now we've got pirate space stations. So, you know, you often see pirates in space, but where do they come from? Now we've got the pirate systems, it adds a lot more sense to that. So me adding in here about, you know, pirate encampments, maybe they cottoned onto that who knows again this is one of the posts that got upvoted quite a fair bit so thank you very much people that have voted my sort of mock-ups lovely jubbly and then we've got survive here as well where it talks about other sorts of additions around survival and i even mentioned about a new survival mode and i done a video to accompany this where i talked about survival mode being a complete revamp of what we've got now hello games have given us custom mode where we can switch it about and make it however we wish making our own sort of custom sort of survival s type mode if you like that sort of sits in between survival and permadeath so they kind of have given us more than that you know they've given us a way to tailor a game how we wish to play and i kind of love the fact that they've done that now i mean originally i didn't quite get it i thought it should be an end game perk but then now i'm starting to see the logic about it and warm to it far more anyhow back over to the comments so that was a long freaking reply for michael gorman i did put it all here in sort of like um you know a, a little bit of a, a thread back to him anyway and i think he actually hit a thumbs up because it's got one vote i can only imagine it was him so thank you mike gorman for um this interesting debate so anybody else wants to jump in on that that'd be freaking awesome i just heard my front door go hopefully my missus is gonna open it you made me check too still subscribed you had me worried for a minute not a problem scott baker not a problem at all david rayner prediction champ <laughs> don't play no man's sky but love my captain steve well thank you very much sir david rayner not unstubbed still kicking thank you maverick Reman's Aquatics. Real question. So you're not seeing the post if you unsubscribe for a channel, or is that just me? I, I, I replied to this and just said about, you know, how my whole smart TV thing, me and my missus share an account, blah de blah de blah. Which we've already covered off, so there we go. There needs to be an option like allergic to Steve's, or I dislike good content. <laughs> just me? Well thank you very much, the Sparkington. Very nice of you. Abel Gomez, I'm still here. Well, thank you, Abel. You seem to be sideways, though. What's going on there? Space Gypsy, I'm still here. Freaking love that. Freaking cool little avatar. Thank you, Space Gypsy. And you seem to be a regular now, Space Gypsy. It's good to see you in, in the live chat. Let's notice you make an effort to be there for almost every live or premiere. Thanking you. Gold, YouTube unsubscribed me not so long ago, but I subscribed again. Doubt me, me daughter will allow me to unscribe from chums. Well, thank you, God, and thank you to your daughter, whoever she is. Thank you very much for keeping your father or mother subscribed there. <laughs> cool. D White Man, I'm still here, but not as interested in No Man's Sky, to be honest. I always hung around wanting ship content updates, but we never got a few... Uh, yes, so I was talking about ship customization earlier. This is one of those people in the communities that really would like ship customization to come into game. Yep, uh, you're not alone. But uh, 309 bugs, still subbed, nice one. Lazarus of Death, I'm still here. If they unsubscribed, how would they see this? Okay, I gave them the same reply about the whole smart TV stuff. I never subscribed or rung the bell. You're lying, Wafi Fakwa. He's a regular. He actually joins me on weekends. You all know this. I'm General God. You are. You are indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Ryan Watts, I'm subbed. I uh, have some videos of my own. Oh, do you, Ryan? Okay. All right. Um, let's, um, let's open you in a new tab. We're going to check out your channel in a moment. Let's do that now, actually. Let's have a look what Ryan's got over there. So, okay, videos. Okay, interesting. European household magic. Ooh, okay. Odin Allfather, Norse mythology. 
<laughs> yes, mate. Freaking, I love all that sort of stuff. I'm more into the Greek mythology than Norse, but you know what? I've hit a subscribe. I'm going to come back and watch some of your stuff um, at some point. Only two days ago, so quite active. All right, fine. I will check out your channel in there, Ryan Orion Watson. Thank you. Still subbed, though if I were unsubbed, it would be for you always mispronouncing my name, says Jeefus Lives. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce his name. I think it's Jeefus. It could be Jeefus, or it could be Jeffus. It could be Jeffus, couldn't it? Jeff. Jeff is in Jeff. Jeffus lives. It could be Jeffus lives or Jeffus. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, James Carroll, still subscribed. Did a lot of people leave? And I put here, I put, YouTube tends to auto unsub people each quarter or so. Yeah. When I noticed that happening this quarter, I tended to throw in a few other reasony type things just to give some sort of, it's more to get people to check that they're still subscribed, basically. And I thought, well, let's just make it more interesting. Let's just see, let's see if that people have fallen out of love with No Man's Sky or fallen out of love with my channel or, or disagreed with something I said. And it seemed to be that it was a bit of a mix of everything, but it, it did seem to be that YouTube has unsubscribed people. That one was like 30. 31% wasn't it but it was interesting to see that 31% equally said that it was due to No Man's Sky so yeah there we are we got Marquis Exotic I never unscribe from those who did this is their problem bunch of bratty kids is what I'm going to say yeah I mean some people will say that I acted like a bratty kid by doing my waypoint review but at the same time I think I kept it reasonable understandable and uh, critical, and I, I felt it needed that at the time. You know, that, that's what I'm thinking. You're cheating with annoying the anomaly dupe glitch. To upgrade your living ship made me lo lose all respect for you, says a bit knock. And that's actually got an extra like on I hit a like on it, but there's one extra one there. Maybe they've got a secondary account. <laughs> but yeah, I put Hello Games have left it in game for years. So the duping glitches have been there for time, time and a half. And when spawning sacks don't spawn or drop and it's random dead gaming, you get a dozen the legit way. Just showing those that don't have months to get lucky on how to take a shortcut, you still need a bundle of them to duplicate. So the only way to get spawning sacks is to send out frigate missions. So you need to get a load of frigates, you need to get a load of frigate fuel, you need to send them out on missions, and then you've got the random chance of getting a spawning sack. Not everybody can hit up No Man's Sky every day because of time commitments, be that work, family, life, whatever. Um, you know, so I've given them a shortcut to cut into the fact that you're going to need 60 of these things just to do your inventory space. Then your technology space. That's a lot of spawning sacks. You know, when it's quite easy to get the technology. You know, so if it was as hard to get the technology as it was to get the spawning sacks, then fine, because it's balanced. But it's not, and it's random gameplay. But I did say thank you very much for the honesty, you know? Now, I don't overly share glitches or duplication methods. There's a heck of a lot of them out there. There are channels that do share a lot of duplication glitches and things like that, like Professor Cynical and there's Elite Gamers. And there's a, quite a few that have like glitchy type videos and duplication videos out there that are far better than me on doing it. The reason I don't like to share out duplication methods is sometimes it's like there's ones where you can get the portable refiners and you've got to overlay them perfectly like three in a row or whatever and that was way back when next come out you could do something very similar but you put them in like a, a vertical line rather than horizontal and you could do the same thing then but sometimes if you get it wrong you can end up losing all of your your um, commodities from them so i don't like to share glitches that could go wrong because i you know it could end up losing all those spawning sacks and the hard work so the only time that i share out a method of duplication is usually when I'm 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 kind of happy that there's more chance of you keeping your stuff than losing your stuff. Anyhow, I hope that I hope that helps clear that up. But everybody should be allowed to play the way that they wish to play without having the, lost the respect of somebody. You know, I done this video not for myself uh, so much. I did it more for the people that you know they might have a newborn or they might have just swapped jobs, or they might be working overtime all the time because of the way the world is right now. Maybe they've got two freaking jobs on the go and they haven't got much time to go and, you know, send out frigate missions and craft frigate fuel and just hope and pray that they get the spawning sacks they want to upgrade their living ship that looks like an Ikea lampshade. You know, so I, I did it mainly because there is a part of the community, a part of the community that would like that. Um, I'm a channel that tries to do content for all of the community. Base building, adventurers, speculation lovers, news lovers. 
I am trying to be a jack of trade, like a jack of all trades. I have not got a speciality. I don't say, I am a ship hunter. I am a professional pet thing. You know, I, I don't do that. I just say, I love playing this game. I love playing all elements of this game equally. Um, you know, but if I had to say what I like doing the most, it's I like doing the speculation. I like it when a freaking emoji drops and we're all trying to guess what's coming in because I'm a law buff and I read all the law. I don't just pull stuff out of freaking thin air. Whenever I'm doing speculation or news or even looking at new ideas, I base them on the law. I base them on the way the game is going. And I think, well, it could go on this tangent or it could go on that tangent. So maybe these ideas from this tangent and maybe those ideas from this tangent, boom. And then you've got a tangible idea. Some of them might be a little bit airy fairy and up in the freaking clouds, but at least I send them over to Hello Games and put them out there for the community to comment on and put feedback on that might be better than my ideas. I understand that I am not the idea wizard. No, no, I'm freaking not. Hello Games are the makers of dreams. They are the candy man, the candy man. Yes, they are the maker of dreams. They're the people that weave this game together and they are the people that say yay or nay to what goes into game and they put into what goes into game from what they hear from the community and they ask for that via the Zendesk. So why they're still asking for ideas, I still think that's a positive because that means they're still going to be working on the game and putting in feedback and ideas. As soon as that disappears from the drop list, then I'm going to think, okay, maybe they're about done. Maybe this is where they're saying No Man's Sky doesn't need any more ideas, doesn't need any more feedback because it's done. And once they remove it from that list, that's when I will stop doing speculation. That's when I will stop doing ideas. I mean, I see other content creators out there in the view of us putting out speculation is bad for the community and ideas can be bad for the community because they raise people's hopes for what might be. No Man's Sky has got a lot of potential and Hello Games have put in things that we never thought we would get and things that we hoped that we would get as well on inside the community. So they do listen and they've got their own ideas and they've got their own sense of direction. But as they're taking their sense of direction, they are still listening. They're still pulling in the ideas from the community and bolstering their own ideas with those. So it's a journey that I feel that I'm on with No Man's Sky and Hello Games. I almost feel like an extension to the team because I feel that I'm being listened to. And that comes across from those mock-ups. I put in ideas. Yes, those ideas have made it into game, but they've been reimagined with Hello Games' spin on. Did they see my idea? I would like to hope they did. I don't think they did, but I would like to hope they did. Especially since I have done some sponsored videos with Hello Games and once I done a video and it was just full of all their trailers. I did a video, I sent that back to the third person, the middleman, to send on to Hello Games and Hello Games went back to the middleman and said no, we would like to see him play the game how he always does with his own spin on it and in a few of his speculation and ideas type things into this um, video. And just do it like a normal Captain Steve video, we love his videos. And that's what the third person fed back to me. Hello Games are watching my channel. Okay, so that to me is freaking awesome. And I always, when I'm when I'm making videos and I'm being critical, I kind of think somebody at Hello Games might be watching this. And I always keep that in mind. So I try to give positive spin on feedback. Yes, you put the, this into game, but if you did it this way, maybe it might be better. You know, I never go off on them and say, yeah, I can't, blah, blah, blah. I don't rant and rave. I don't get negative with it. Even on those two feedbacks with the um, Waypoint um, video, I, I still had that in mind that somebody at Hello Games might be watching this back. And I did it in a way that I felt was critical, much needed feedback, but in a loving, caring way because they put all their love and their care into the game. And I know that. I know how much work went into even the Waypoint update. And for them, it must be getting so hard now to put something into the game that keeps the whole community happy. Because there are little pigeonholes in the community. You've got the base builders, you've got the explorers, you've got the ship hunters, you've got all these specialists. You've got people that just love do duping stuff. That's actually a thing now. There is a whole community of people that just love duping things and, do and finding exploits. That's what they like doing. Okay, so Hello Games have got... They've got their work cut out for them. For any new ideas to put into game 
and it must be quite difficult and that could be why we've got the you know the, the changing of modes on the fly and the custom settings and maybe they're going to build on that maybe they might add in you know better no hud options so you can turn certain things on in the hud maybe they might do start the game without a ship you know crashed on the planet so you have to earn enough money to buy one at a trading post or find one crashed in the wild or whatever maybe they might add in a speed run mode and add in certain markers first to get to the nexus the first to get to the station and maybe it comes up with a timer on the screen there's a lot of things that they could do as bolt-ons to the waypoint update and i think that's why they called it waypoint as it's a marker it's a halfway point to something else what that something else is it could be what i just mentioned there about delivering in some more options and things but they might have given is this mode to change the actual settings because they're going to add more challenge into the game they might add in the mega fauna they might add in sent, um, sentinel encampments in a bigger way or sentinel bosses or the ability to go into the void or into the realm of glass and people that want the exploration experience and the relaxed experience now have the relaxed mode or the custom game mode to hit it up in a different way so they can approach it without fear of dying so it's still a relaxing experience for them but still get to enjoy the megafaunas you know and take some pictures of them or something rather than shoot them with a gun they're shooting them with a freaking camera so you know it could be because they're planning for the future so i've just got to trust in hello games like i always have and just sit still and sort of be patient and see what comes in the next updates. So I will be doing a video on my wish list for 2023. And I'm still going to speculate. I'm still going to do ideas because that's what I do here. I'm Captain Steve and my channel is a bit of everything for everybody. And I know that I can't please everyone. And that comes across in some of these comments. I've got my people that love my channel and I've got the people that don't really like it or have unsubscribed because of something I've said. Whenever I say something, it's always because I'm passionate. It comes from a root of passion and it comes from a root of love for the game and also the community. So sometimes what I say might not be my own thoughts and feelings, but it could be an echo of what I'm seeing inside of my comments. Please keep that in mind also. But yeah, it's, it's difficult being a content creator when it's such a diverse game with different pockets of players and um, bases inside of the community to not tread on somebody's toes. So yeah, if you see that it might be content that you're not interested in, it's like if you if you don't like duplication content, like um, Bitnock, thank you very much Bitnock, Blitnock, sorry for your feedback. But yeah, if you don't like duplication glitches, in the title of that video, in all fairness, because it was the one where I was duplicating those sacks, I did put duplication duplicating in the title and in the thumbnail it was obvious what the video was about don't watch it <laughs> okay because it's not for you if you don't like duplicating don't watch that one you know and then hopefully you know you would have kept your, your respect for me intact <laughs> but there we go people in the view of us that's pretty much everything i've got to say on the comments um but before i go what i want to say is a massive great big thank you you know i give critical feedback to hello games and it would be unfair for me to shut down Discord for people that are giving me, um, you know, create, uh, critical feedback. I need this. So thank you very much. Because now I know that there are some people that might get upset about me duplicating things. I'm still going to bloody do it. I'm still going to make it obvious inside the title and on the thumbnail. And I've just got to roll with it. You know, if I lose some respect from people, it might do. But at the same time, other people that want to save themselves some time and are looking for a way to cut that corner, they might be given up with No Man's Sky because it's too tedious. I might have just kept that player engaged and happy. You know, so there's that balance. And it's the same balance that I suppose that Hello Games has got when they're putting out new content for the game. So yes, I I mean, I haven't dropped No Man's Sky. I haven't said, oh, yeah, Hello Games have really upset me. I'm never coming back. Ugh. No, because I have every faith that Hello Games see this as a passion project and they want this out there in the best way that it can be for everyone. And that's just difficult to do. It's just difficult to do. And um, I, I have to just roll with that, you know, and and it's the same with content creators. They might say something. It might not be me. It might be another content creator. You might you might click on a thumbnail and think, oh, fudging heck after fin watching it, thinking that was complete clickbait. The next video might not be. Just don't, don't unsubscribe from them just because of one video that might have upset you. Give them a fair shout. And it's like that chap earlier that I pointed out. And he actually came back and said, you know what? You've done a lot for the community, so I'm giving you another shot. That's fair. You know, John Miller. Thank you very much, John Miller. That's the sort of person that I like because you know what? They're similar to me. Just because of one update, Waypoint, that was a little bit rocky for me, doesn't mean I'm going to drop No Man's Sky, drop this community and jump over to something else and cover a completely different game. No, no, I'm sticking with No Man's Sky. That's where I've set my sort of 
you know, my, my blinkers, and that's where I'm going to hit. I'm going to carry on doing No Man's Sky content until the day that Hello Games says, right, we're no longer putting in any more ideas, no longer expanding on Hello Ga- um, No Man's Sky, and that's it for us. As soon as Hello Games say they're not doing anything for, for No Man's Sky, that's the day where I will still do content. I'll still do some content for some time after until I see that it starts to drop off or my own interest drops off. Because you've got to... <sighs> <laughs> no Man's Sky is one of the only games I really superly enjoy. I really enjoyed my time of Elden Ring, though. That was great. And I love I love Dragon's Dogma. There's there's always going to be those games that you're going like, oh, got to play that, you know? I haven't had another game like No Man's Sky that's done that to me for ages, apart from Elden Ring. And Elden Ring, well, now that I've completed it, I don't want to play it through again. Because <laughs> it was freaking hard hard as nails probably the hardest game i've ever played um because i'm not i'm not like a super uber gamer you know i'm, I'm not like not to disrespect but then saying that i think i completed it before he did so yeah i'm just saying just saying <laughs> i started playing it at the same time so yeah do with that information what you will <laughs> yeah anyway people in the view of us i'm going off on tangents now but all i want to do is just sort of lay it out there that you know i love no man's sky i love this community i'm not going anywhere i'm going to be hitting this out and continue doing what i'm doing i mean as you can see i i do content nearly daily whether it's no man's sky or otherwise you know i've always got something and the idea of my channel is to make you smile in the view of us i never want to upset anyone i want to make you laugh smile yeah, I just want to lift your day slightly. That's where I come from. I just want to entertain people and to hear that I've put a bit of a negative feel out there and maybe not made somebody smile. Even when I was giving that negative feedback, I was trying to do it in a way that would make people smile. And I'm very sorry if that didn't come across and if it didn't hit the right note. Um, I was in a little bit of a bad place at that time anyway, um, not just through No Man's Sky, through other things going on in real world. And it was just badly timed perhaps. But anyway, people, I just want to say thank you very much for sticking with my channel. And I just wanted to give feedback on the feedback that I asked for on the poll. <laughs> okay. There we go, peeps. I never thought I'd be doing one of these sort of videos. I've seen lots of other content creators do them in the past on other things. And I'm like, I don't think I'd ever do a video like that. But, but now I've done one, you know, I've actually quite enjoyed doing it. I think if I ever do any other sensitive sort of polls that might stir up debate, I might have to do one of these in future because I think it helps you understand my headspace. And I think it un helps you understand my channel and direction and where my passion lies. There we go, people. Anyway, I better end off now because we've been going for quite some time. So thank you very much for watching. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.